Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Ah, back again. Well, welcome, wildlings. What is it about music that, for lack of a better term, resonates so strongly with human nature? It can evoke strong emotion in just a few seconds of listening, and it affects us so deeply that our mythology views it as an act of universal creation. Well, unless it's the song in tonight's entry, number six of 538 in the Holder series, The Song. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house that you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls herself the holder of the song. You will then be guided to a long staircase that spirals higher than the building stands. At the stairs summit is a door. As you open the door, a sudden wave of heat will pour out from the hallway beyond it and wash over you. Proceed down this hallway. As you walk, the air around you will grow increasingly fluid. When you feel as if you are encased in ice, you must stand perfectly still, remain silent, and listen. If after a few seconds pass, you hear a baby crying, turn and run. No harm will befall you, but the infant's cry will follow you wherever you go for the rest of your life. If you continue to hear it, count yourself lucky, and when it stops, your firstborn child will die. If you do not hear a baby's cry, wait for the hallway to grow warm once more, and then proceed to the door at its end. Enter. The room beyond will be a wash in green light. At its center will be an old woman turning the handle of a silent music box. Her legs will have both been severed at the knees. When you speak to her, you must look her in the eyes. She hides a spear fashioned from the bones of her legs. Break eye contact, and she will impale you with it and leave you to bleed to death in seemingly unending agony. She will respond to only one question. What was the song they used to play? If you ask this question, the old woman will begin to sing in a language not of this world. The melody she uses will be the most beautiful one you've ever heard, bringing peace and serenity to your mind, body, and soul. You will find yourself vividly imagining a band of carefree children playing and singing, innocent as can be. But within minutes, the scene will eventually take a horribly sinister turn. The children will begin to fight each other. Their conflict will quickly escalate to the most brutal, lethal violence that you can conceive of. They will impale each other on wooden poles, disembowel each other with sharp rocks or their own fingers, even rip flesh from their bones with their bare hands. You will witness these children, now merely tattered doppelgangers of themselves, spreading death and destruction more horrific than you could ever imagine on your own. You will see a naked boy, drenched in blood, singing with delight as he runs through a hellish wasteland pursued by unspeakable monsters. They will overtake him and utterly destroy him, the song still issuing forth from his shredded lips all the while. Yet inexplicably you will remain calm and peaceful even as you watch this unspeakable brutality. When these horrific visions end, an intense pain will stab at your chest. Your heart will feel like it's about to explode. Do not let the agony break your focus, and do not break eye contact with the old woman lest you invite a fate so horrible that an exploding heart seems lovely by comparison. If you remain steadfast in your gaze, the pain will eventually cease. The woman will stand up, though... With your eyes still focused on hers, you will not know how. And place the music box in your hands. 
This music box is object six of 538. When its song plays again, they will all come together. So stay scary, my wildlings. May your heart be forever light and a song be forever in your mind. Just not that one. And make the most of your nights. <laughs>